public meeting just wrapped up in Howell discussing the toxic gas found leaking outside a local business. Earlier this month, elevated levels of trichloroethylene, also known as TCE, was found near the Diamond Chrome Plating Company near West Livingston and Michigan Avenue. However, a follow-up test by the state revealing the levels are below what would be considered dangerous to the public. State health officials meeting with the community to discuss the recent results. The first step is to assure that we've got compliance with the regulated community, in this case, Diamond Chrome, to assure that they're uh, operating the facility and specifically the degrees are in compliance with the regulations. We're told additional testing is planned near the area. Tonight, the UAW went public with accusations of corruption against its former president, Gary Jones. UAW accuses Jones of falsifying half a million dollars worth of expenses at luxury resorts in California. The union also claims Jones let his daughter stay at a Palm Springs townhouse that was paid for by the UAW. Jones resigned and retired, in fact, before he could be fired. Vance Pearson, his closest assistant, has been indicted for embezzlement. He does remain in the union for now, but he could face expulsion if he doesn't resign. A 24-year-old Southfield woman appearing in court today charged with the murder of a pregnant 20-year-old student at U of M Dearborn. Gabrielle Brantley is accused of shooting Cabria Arnold. Arnold was found last week shot to death on Detroit's west side. A 28-year-old man who is believed to be Arnold's ex-boyfriend was also arrested. The ex-boyfriend who remains in custody has yet to be charged.